Hello, my name is Kirill and you are watching my LEGO Technic channel. This is the second video about LEGO Electric and today we'll discuss the power function system. Unfortunately, I have not all the components of the system. Uh, for example, I have no 8183 set, no train motor and no energy storage set 9688. This education set contains very interesting pieces uh, like e-motor for wind generator and solar panel. Power function system was introduced in 2007 year in five sets. My first set with power function system is Lego Technic Dozer 8275. Other first sets are Ferris Wheel, Education Add-on, Monster Dinner and Walking ATAT. And the final set with power function system was introduced in 2019. It is a remote controlled stunt racer 42095. Let's take a look to the power functions components. Large battery box for AA batteries, battery box for 3A batteries, and battery box with rechargeable battery and speed control. We can use different motors. I have four types of motors. No E-motors and no train motors. Medium motor large motor, extra large motor, servo motor and also you can see light emitting diodes. The system contains infrared receiver for remote control and two types of remote control units. Additional components are polarity switches and extension wires, short wire 20 cm long and long wire 50 cm long. Let's see how it works. Battery box has a switch and output connector. We can connect, for example, motor. And this switch allows to invert polarity. Connector allows to some different loads. I can connect one more motor. And one more motor. And diodes. Until I have enough current. To remote control I have to use infrared receiver. I connect it to the battery box. Receiver is on. And now I'll connect the motor. Receiver has four channels and each channel has red and blue output so power function system has eight independent channels to control the model. This remote control unit works just like on off. Motor rotates at full power at the fastest speed and the second Remote controlled unit used for trains allows to control the motor speed. Slow, faster, faster and the fastest speed. And this is very useful stop button. This unit is very inconvenient because of low quality of these regulators. So, sometimes it works unpredictably. This unit doesn't need to transmit the signal constantly. So, I can set up the speed and turn off this unit, hide it, and the motor will work. I can set seven different speeds in each direction. The infrared receiver has two versions. The second version was designed special for heavy off-roaders and has larger output current, but can't power two medium motors on the same output port. Also, we can use polarity switches to control the motors. on and off and it has special lever to invert polarity.
Also, I found another version of the switch without inversion lever. Extension wires are very useful for big and very big models. And another cool feature of the wires is 9 volt adapter for old LEGO electric system. So, one connector is power function connector on the both sides and the second connector has power functions connector on the top and old 9 volt connector on the bottom. Not too many sets use these wires, usually education sets and also long wires you can find in wind generator sets. Medium motor is the smallest in power function system. This motor is very useful for additional functions. It was used for drive the model only in one set, small tracket of rotor 42065. The large motor is much stronger and it can be used to drive the model and for heavy functions with significant power consumption. The most powerful motor in power function system is extra large motor very useful for heavy models. It has very small speed but very high torque. Two extra large motors can be found only in one set, 8275 dozer. And only one set uses the extra large motor not for movement, it is Grand Truck 8258. The servo motor was designed special for steering. Its working range is 90 degrees to each side. I'll show you with infrared receiver and also it has small regulation Bad unit I can't rotate it to opposite direction. These motors can be found only in three sets, two of rotors and Volvo front loader 42030. Light emitting diodes work at any polarity. I suppose here is mounted diode bridge. These diodes are not too bright, only for model decoration. And now let's learn how it works. Instead of 9 volt system, power function system has 4 wires. Two of them are used for receivers supply and other two for motors. So receivers are always on, even when motors are off. And to power the motor I need to add the voltage on motor pads. The battery box is on and you can see the voltage for receiver. But on other two pads there are no voltage, but Now you can see that there is a voltage and the motor will run. And maximum voltage is equal to the voltage of receiver. So we have independent control for receivers and motors. I will illustrate it with polarity switch. The lever is in neutral position. I will connect receiver and motor. Receiver is on, motor doesn't work, and I can use receiver to control other motors. And to run this motor, I have to turn on the lever. So the motors and receivers have independent control. To control the motor rotation speed, power function system uses the pulse width modulation. On your screen you can see the motor voltage. 
The wider are pulses, the faster rotates the motor. And the fastest speed corresponds to the constant voltage on motor. To create illustrations for this video I used Bricklink.com website. On this site you can find many interesting information about LEGO and about power function system components. So, let's summarize this video. The power function system has many advantages. First of all, we can create models with remote control. Also, we can sum different loads on a single power function's output. This system can be used with old 9V system components due to extension wires with 9V adapters. And also, we can control the rotation speed of motors. Of course, power function system has some disadvantages. And the main disadvantage to my mind is very short control range. The sun interferences the infrared control and it's very inconvenient to play with models outdoor. The outdoor distance can be 1 meter or even less. The system has only 8 control channels, it's not too many. And also the system has low current protection threshold. It's impossible to run all buggy motors at full power. On my main channel you can find many interesting videos about LEGO sets with power function system. Check the links below the video. And thanks for watching. Bye!